hast a careful father, child, one who, to put thee from thy heaviness, hath sorted out a sudden day of joy, which thou expects not, nor I look not for. Madam, in happy time, what day is that? Mary, my child. Early next Thursday morn, the gallant, young, and noble gentleman, Sir Paris, at St. Peter's Church shall happily make thee there a joyful bride. Now, by St. Peter's Church and Peter too, he shall not make me there a joyful bride. Here comes your father. Tell him so yourself. How now, wife? Have you delivered to her our decree? Aye, sir, but she will none. She gives you thanks. I would the fool were married to her grave. How? Oh, will she none? Is she not proud? Doth she not count her blessed? Unworthy as she is, that we have wrought so worthy a gentleman to be her bride! Not proud you have, but thankful that you have. Proud can I never be of what I ate! Thank me not, thank kings! Oh, what proud no! But fret your fine joints! Then slice thy legs! Hear me with patience! No! Why? Why? Oh, no! 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 Speak no! not! Reply not! Do not answer me! What are you mad? Oh, ye young baggage! Disobedient rat! Let him! You are to blame, my lord, to rate her so! This you mumbly fool! Tell you what, get thee to church a Thursday, or never after look me in the face. When you be mine, I give you to my friend. When you be not, hang, beg, starve, die in the streets. Trust to it, we think you. I am not before swag. <laughs> Sweet, my mother, cast me not away. Delay this marriage for a month, a week. Or if you do not, make the bridal bed in that dim monument where Tybalt lies. Talk not to me, for I'll not speak a word. Do as thou wilt, for I have done with thee. <laughs> 